Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So this morning um, I've come out initially a bit of a scouting exercise really. I uh, haven't found a kingfisher for a long time and somebody a short while ago told me of a potential location for a kingfisher. So uh, I've come down to have a look. Um, we've got the river out here. Um, we know there's a in the in the mating season there's a, um, there's a nesting site further up so we steer clear of that um, e even though we're later in the year now we're outside the breeding season um, so you know it's not a big issue um, but we're just going to steer clear of that anyway um, so we're just going to scout along the river bank look for typical locations um, and see what we can find where the kingfisher might perch i mean where, where the where the nesting site is it's actually quite dark in there so you're not going to get any photos in there anyway uh, this time of year with all the trees over the top of it but there are a few areas where there are typical perches where the river starts to run a bit slower um, and ideal spots where the kingfisher might come into and, and do a bit of fishing so we're just going to as I say more of a scouting exercise today walk down the river um, listen out for it see if it's around and you know identify potential perches and areas where it might might do some fishing for us so long shot as I say I have been told they are around a little while ago um, there's some great fields over the back of here as well so you know there is potential for things like barn owls a lot of red kites in this area as well so you know we might get some red kites as well um, let's go and have a walk and see what we find and see whether oops something moving through the undergrowth down here that's interesting um, um, but yeah let's go and have a walk and see what we find and you never know we might get something interesting Good morning. So we've come down to our, uh, our local nature reserve. Um, kingfish have been reported quite a bit lately. There's a marker post out on the water um, and the kingfish has been seen just perched on there and fishing off there. So we've come down this morning to have a look um, and basically see if we can get some sight of the kingfish. I haven't seen one for, for ages so you know really be good to see one at least. It's a little bit distant so we're gonna have some issues on trying to trying to um, get some decent images of it but it's also uh, this time in the morning we're shooting into the sun as well which is not going to help either but let's see what we can find and let's see if we can get some at least a few images i think it'll only be a short video but just you know, a few images and a bit of footage of the kingfisher that'd be nice so the kingfisher's just sitting on the uh on the height marker for the water you can just see him there absolutely beautiful Hoping he's going to stick around for a little while. Let's see what we can get. He's a little bit distant, but great. Just haven't seen a kingfisher at all for oh, well, well over twelve months. So excellent.
Uh, we've just got a few shots and a bit of footage from the Kingfisher. Um, people coming in the hide, so it made it quite difficult really to do much else. Um, quite noisy around here, traffic noise as well, apologies for that. But uh, yeah, great to see the Kingfisher. Hopefully we can get a few more shots over a period of time. So this morning, um, we're going out, we're going to look for kingfishers again, but we're taking the easy approach. I mean, we went out um, a few weeks ago looking for kingfishers, uh, down by uh, a river not too far away. Um, and um, I'll put a bit of that into sort of the first part of this video, because what we did look at is typical locations for kingfishers, looking for perches for kingfishers, all that sort of thing. and, and you know, looking for some ideal types of perches as well. So I'll definitely put some of that um, in the video. Um, but we're going to go this morning to a place called Barnwell um, Country Park. It's quite well known around the area for its kingfishers. Um, it can get very busy. Um, so, I mean, once we're in the hide, we're certainly not going to be able to do anything. Um, we're going to have to really be fairly quiet, I guess. Um, I, I can't imagine being on my own in the hide, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go to Barnwell, um, go and have a look and see if, to back up what we did uh, looking for the perches and things down the river, whether we can get some decent shots of kingfishers and um, uh, yeah, and some video as well hopefully. Um, so we'll do that. I have, I have also got a little bit of video of um, when I went down to the local nature reserve and did see a um, kingfisher recently, so I may drop that in as well. Um, but let's see if we can find you some nice kingfisher images and video. Well, you know, I said it'd be busy in here. I'm the only one sitting there. I had a couple of guys in earlier. One guy was in early. He said the kingfisher was feeding quite well early on. Um, we have seen the kingfisher around. We've seen, I think, two, maybe three even, um, flushing around. Struggled to get a few shots. Got a little bit of video. Um, there's a load of ducks just landed in front of me. Um, got a little bit of video. Uh, and, and try to get a couple of shots. I think possibly the best one is as it was flying off. Um, I didn't quite, didn't quite, wasn't quite quick enough. So uh, by the time I actually took a few shots, it was actually in flight. So uh, we got a few of those. And then the other time it, it perched on a branch over this side, but it was all I could see was its feet, to be honest. So, um, but we carry on trying and uh, give it a little bit longer. See what happens. They seem to come in flurries, you know, they seem to come along and then disappear for half an hour and then come back again. So we'll see what happens, give it a bit longer. But they're really eluding me at the moment, I have to say.
So for about 15 minutes, we've just had a real flurry of activity with two kingfishers flying all around the area, uh, fishing quite quite well as well. So um, they're a little bit distant, so you know we we haven't got we know we haven't got the shots that we really want, um, but you know we've got something. So at least I've got something I can bring you in the video. I think um, I don't know what the don't know what the images are going to be like until I get them back. To be honest, because they were so distant. But um, hopefully we've got a bit of slow motion footage, and we've got some uh, some kingfisher images to show you finally. Well, I actually recorded um, an end to this video yesterday, but then I thought I'd come down once more today just to see if we could get one or two more shots. And I'm really pleased I did. We had the kingfisher outside around, I don't know, 20, 30 feet in front of us, perched and around this area. Absolutely amazing. Hopefully, I mean, and I've taken a load of shots, so hopefully the light's a bit dark, so I had to get down to some really low shutter speeds. But I think we've got some really good shots of that to put into the video. And also some video of it at the same time. So yeah, so really pleased with that. So grateful I came down again today. Um, I'm going to scrap yesterday's end of the video and you'll get a new one now and you've seen it. So um, yeah, I hope you like the video. If you do, thumbs up would be great for me. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, great to come out and about with me uh, and just see what we find. And uh, yeah, whatever you're doing, have a great day and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.